हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हिट ट्रीटमेंट फॉर 1841 टूल स्टील्स सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स बिगिन फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द हिट ट्रीटमेंट साइकिल ऑफ 1841 टूल स्टील्स एंड दिस हिट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस कंसिस्ट ऑफ हार्डनिंग प्रोसेस देन हियर सेकेंड इज सब जीरो ट्रीटमेंट third is tempering process 1 and fourth is tempering process 2 so friends now we will see one by one each process here first process is hardening process in that heating the high speed steels are heated to 1250 to 1300 degree celsius temperature see here friends that is in the diagram at this temperature this is hardening process this is heating here at this point till this point we need to heat the tool steel in this process now see here friends at this temperature steel consists of 0.6% carbon in austenite maximum so that after hardening the hardness of the steel will be maximum okay all carbides are dissolved in the austenite at this high temperature except the carbides of vanadium heating process is done in two stages this is very important to avoid thermal shock and micro cracking of the steels in first stage steels are heated at 850 degree celsius temperature see here now in the diagram the at first stage it is heated at 8 50 degree celsius okay and further friends at this constant temperature see here at this constant temperature steels are hold for 4 to 10 minutes for becoming uniform temperature from surface to core part of the steel components now here in the second stage these steels components are heated in salt bath maintained in another furnace up to 1250 degree celsius temperature salt bath heating provides uniform and quick heating and reduces oxidation and decarburization see here friends at this point this second stage is up to here that is 1250 degree celsius now further friends holding and soaking in hardening process second point is holding and soaking the steel components are hold at constant temperature of 1250 degree celsius for more making uniform structure throughout the component as per astm standards holding time is 1 hour for each 25 mm diameter of thickness here friends this process is the holding process holding or soaking process okay now further there is a third in hardening process there is third point is cooling or quenching the steel components are quenched in oil up to room temperature see here friends here in this case in this particular diagram this is the room temperature this line is the room temperature and this is oil quenching up to the room temperature further here friends see oil quenching gives faster cooling than critical cooling rate and austenite is transformed into martensite structure for these steels ms martensite transformation st starts temperature is around 200 degree celsius and mf that is martensite transformation finish temperature is below room temperature see here friends now here this one is the 200 degree celsius is the martensite start temperature and here mf is 100 degree celsius which is, which is martensite transformation finish temperature which is below the room temperature okay now here friends see all austenite here does not transform to martensite at room temperature and a part of it remains untransformed as retained austenite okay the structure at room temperature consists of 60% martensite 30% retained austenite and 10% alloy carbides okay 
the retained austenite acts as a cushion so that steel do not crack during quenching the hardness of steel after hardening is 57 to 57 58 rc okay see here friends at room temperature when uh, we quench uh, quench this uh, steel by oil quenching uh, it uh, reaches the hardness up to 70 57 sorry 57 58 rc at room temperature now friends here next process is after hardening process there is second process is sub zero treatment okay so here friends now after hardening process microstructure shows 30% retained austenite because martensite finish temperature is below room temperature to convert retained austenite into martensite sub zero treatment is applied without any delay okay after hardening process in sub zero treatment temperature of steel is reduced up to minus 80 degree celsius to convert retained austenite into martensite see here friends in the diagram this is minus 80 degree celsius temperature at in the diagram here and see after sub zero treatment minimum one tempering cycle is necessary to relieve internal stresses from new formed os martin site okay martin site structure so here friends after sub zero treatment minimum one tempering cycle we need we necessary to relieve the internal stresses from new formed martin site structure so here friends now third process is tempering process 1 okay so now here the martin site formed during quenching gets tempered and gives rise to fine complex alloy carbides the tempering process steel components are heated up to 550 degrees celsius temperature see here friends in the diagram after this sub zero process sub zero treatment uh, tempering cycle 1 this is the tempering cycle 1 and here in this steels are uh, heated up to the 550 degrees celsius and it is holded here holding time is 2 to 3 hours see here it hold at constant temperature of 1550 degrees celsius for 2 to 2.5 hours or 3 hours and quenched in oil to room temperature and here in this tempering process oil quenching is carried out and it is quenched quenched and it is quenched up to the room temperature as you can see here and it ha its hardness is here reaches up to 64 uh, 65 rc okay way after oil quenching now see here friends uh, Uh, some objectives of tempering process uh, tempering process one especially here first is to relieve internal stresses to convert part of retained austenite into martensite third is to reduce brittleness of hardened steel here friends now the hardness of steel rises to 65 66 rc due to conversion of part of retained austenite into martensite the newly formed or martensite during tempering having high order high order see here high order micro stresses due to that there are more chances of cracking of steel therefore second tempering cycle is necessary why second tempering cycle is necessary here is the answer after see here after tempering after newly formed after tempering process 1 the newly formed martensite during tempering having high order micro stresses due to that there there are more chances of cracking of steel so second tempering cycle is necessary okay now here friends the same the tempering process 2 the following are the main objectives of the second tempering cycle here first is to relieve micro stresses in newly formed martensite in first tempering process second is some part of retained austenite will be converted into martensite third is some alloy carbides will separate out so here friends at the end of tempering second tempering retained austenite gets 
reduced below 5% and still shows hardness of 65-66 RC without brittleness. Sometimes it requires 4 to 5 tempering cycles to reduce retained austenite. Sub-zero treatment converts some part of retained austenite into martensite which reduces the number of tempering cycles. But minimum 2 tempering cycles are required for high speed tool steels. So here friends now in the diagram here the tempering cycle 2 and here this is, this is similar to the tempering cycle 1 and in this after oil quenching in the tempering cycle 2 after oil quenching the hardness of the steel the hardness of the high speed steel reaches up to 65 66 rc okay so friends in this video we have seen heat treatment of for 1841 tool steels which consists of hardening process sub zero treatment tempering process 1 and tempering process 2 thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you